Are you in the military and want to save a heck of a lot of money? Universal has the deal for you. Today, we're going to go over all things Universal Orlando Freedom Pass, which is an annual pass that we use regularly. And it works for us. We want it to work for you. Freedom Pass is something that I've noticed is one of those things that the military doesn't even know that it's available to them. So we decided to make a whole video dedicated to it. When we first started visiting Universal, we were doing all the math, all of the mm -hmm. reconnaissance, if you will, <laughs> of what pass is right for us because we knew we wanted to visit multiple mm -hmm. times. Even back in the day, when we our very first trip ever, we thought like, do we need to get single day tickets, individual tickets? Yeah. And eventually we came upon the Freedom Pass. Freedom pass. So we're gonna dive into that and tell you a little bit of who, what, where, when, why, and then the perks you get with it, and also some of the cons as well. Yep. The Freedom Pass is eligible to active duty or retired military personnel, <laughs> their spouses, or any active DOD civilian employees. Unfortunately, if you've got a DD-214 and know what that is, you're not eligible unless you're in the guard or reserve. That was a foreign language to me, but I hope that answers your question of who can get the military freedom pass. The next question you might ask yourself is when can you use the freedom pass? As an annual pass, it's good for the full calendar year. Now, one thing to note, as of 2023, while we're making this video, there are some blackout dates, which is new for the Freedom Pass. Mm -hmm. Basically, check to see when those blackout dates are. And just to give you a little bit of hint, they're typically around the busy times of year when school's out. So we're talking spring break and we're talking winter break timeframes. But the rest of the year, you're pretty good to go. Why would you get the Freedom Pass? Ultimately, it saves you money. I think over the course of our years going to Universal, we've probably saved thousands of dollars by utilizing the Freedom Pass. So that kind of leads us to how much does it cost? Because <laughs> that'll determine if it's worth it for you. As of 2023, the annual cost for one Freedom Pass for two parks, just to be clear, so you'd have access to studios and Islands of Adventure, is $200 per person. If you're looking to have access to all three parks, you wanna throw Volcano Bay in there, the total for one three park Freedom Pass is $235 per person. We don't go to Volcano Bay all the time, but when we want to, it's really nice to be able to throw that right on in. So we decided when we bought ours, the extra 35 bucks for a full year of being able to visit Volcano Bay whenever we'd like was pretty much worth it to us. Something to compare when looking at purchasing. If you compare the price between the two park Freedom Pass and a two park day ticket, you're ultimately gonna save about $10 per person by utilizing the Freedom Pass. Per day. Per day. Yeah. And not to mention that Freedom Pass is good for the entire year. If you're doing a multi-day trip, like most people end up doing at Universal, or if you're jumping between Disney and Universal and spending multiple days at the park, it already pays for itself. You might be wondering, what do I get with the Freedom Pass? Well, you get access to the parks all year round. That's a win. <laughs> Now, access to the parks might not seem like much when you compare it to the other annual passes that Universal provides, because you're not gonna get things like discounted parking, you're not gonna get discounts on merchandise, and you're not gonna get Express Pass, but you know, there's ways to get around that, right? However, the upfront costs of the Freedom Pass versus the other annual passes that Universal provides is astoundingly different. There's quite a bit of savings up front. Yes, you can argue that the other annual passes do give you a lot of discounts throughout the, your time with Universal in the year, but that's where there's some other perks that military discounts do come on in to play as well. It's important to note that Universal offers some really fantastic military discounts at their on-site hotels. By calling Universal and asking if they have military rates on their on-site hotels, we save on average 25 to 30% off of the seasonal rates that they have going, which is a huge benefit. Not only are you getting the discount on the annual pass, but you're also getting the perk of getting discounted on-site hotels. For example, we just booked our next vacation to Universal and thought we'd stay at Adventura. It's mm -hmm. on the cheaper side comparatively. 
And we called in and unfortunately there was not a military rate for that hotel at that time. However, we were offered a better discounted rate for Sapphire Falls compared to what we would have paid staying the same amount of time at Aventura. So it was pretty cool to see that we had an actual, I guess a upgrade mm -hmm. uh, of hotel options. We never stayed at either of them. We're pretty darn excited about it, but I digress. There are military discounts also on top of hotels that are not necessarily factored into the Freedom Pass. If you have any additional questions about Universal Orlando's Freedom Pass, feel free to ask in the comments or send us a DM on Instagram. Also, you can check out shadesofgreen.org and we'll put the link to shadesofgreen.org in the description box. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when more videos come out. We will see you next time. Bye.